we got some other news here courtesy of Sean Stussy, the original founder and creator of Stussy. He left the brand, I think, in the 80s or maybe the 90s. I forgot exactly when it was, when he sold it and went on to do other things. But now he's deciding that he wants to make a comeback. Sean Stussy got on his Instagram and decided he wanted to make a comeback and announce it to the world. He wrote a caption on his Instagram that says as follows. Um, a young horse is fast, but the old horse knows what's going on. The young horse may win the race, but the old horse stay cut, stay out so long. Mr. Muddy Waters, Young Fashion Ways update. Just read some comments and need to be clear. It is not my birthday. That day is another month or so, but thank you in advance for the cheers and respect. So allegedly, this particular announcement is to do with him coming back to streetwear. He's making another market it i feel like sean stussy has done this like 17 times in the last few years he tried to make a you know he tried to make a comeback um i forgot the name of the brand that he did he did some footwear he had a brand for a short while that didn't really go anywhere but he's been trying to make a comeback in streetwear for a while he seems to be a bit confused though one minute he's trashing streetwear and saying it's dead and it's boring and no one should care about it the next minute he's trying to get back involved but maybe deep down he probably regrets selling Stussy especially considering what it's become now the fact that they've been able to steer the ship and shit and get it back to where it's needed to be the creative director that does all the shit for Stussy now is fucking smashing it the styling you know the offerings that they have the accessories the collaborations are also always tastefully done they absolutely smash it so maybe he's feeling a little bit left out but i think sun stushi should hang it up i think his time has been and gone and i think unfortunately because he spent so much time away he's probably not sharp as he probably once was even though he's an originator in the same sense as like a james jebio with supreme but james jebio has always stayed involved and judging by what we've heard from tremaine and his struggles at supreme james jebio is very much involved still in the daily running of supreme he has his firm grip on what goes out in terms of supreme and what we see which is probably the reason why it's been able to maintain and be so consistent and be somewhat relevant and still still not be quote unquote over because the founder the originator of that brand is still very much in control so i feel like because he's been in control because he's still sharp because he's still there he's still on the front line doing what he's doing season in season now and you have to imagine james jebby essentially nowadays is competing with the likes of hellstar he's competing with all these young bucks right who are chalking away and clawing away at his customer base and taking you know food or taking customers away from his fucking brand and shit so he's having to stay sharp and compete with these new newer brands are springing up all over the place across instagram and other social media platforms so that helps for you to kind of keep sharp and keep putting out sick stuff sean stussy hasn't been around in ages sean stussy hasn't been around in ages and i feel like he's just spent too much time on the sidelines to actually make anything meaningful that anybody would want because number one unfortunately for him look at this picture it's not exactly the coolest thing you've seen in the world right I don't know if he put this on a timer, if he got his daughter to take the picture for him, but he's in his garden somewhere in this amazing house. It looks like, you know, big a lot of space and shit. He's probably got a lot of money from selling Stussy and all the other businesses that he's got on the side. But he's trying to make this you know declaration by walking towards the camera like he's back, like he's walking back in the ring. But he just looks like an old man. Because he is an old man. He looks very dusted. He's got his shirt tucked into his trousers. He doesn't look really cool. His wallabies, whatever he's wearing, look like they've been ground worn into the ground. I don't think there's anything that this man would create that I would want, you know, unfortunately. I don't think he's got any real taste, insight, new perspective on a new bomber jacket, on a jumper, on a sweatshirt, on a pair of jeans, on a hat, on some glasses, on some sneakers I would ever want to wear that's the main issue so this is so unfortunately dead dry and lame that it's not making me have any type of um enthusiasm for his comeback and i feel like at this point he should just hang it up and if anything maybe be an advisor consultant to some of these younger brands coming up maybe act as a mentor to them and try and guide them in the ways and maybe advise them maybe not to sell their own brand and whatever it may be but him coming back and trying to compete with all these younger brands who are doing things i don't think it's going to end well for him and he needs to kind of hang it up if that's the case again it could be something else who knows but judging by the comments in the chat or in the comments in his comment section you're my hero sean stussy just says keep surfing 
Paul Mitterman is there giving him a glass emoji. Stay Grounded is giving him the goat emoji. Everyone's basically welcoming him back, but I don't think this is going to end well if he tries to come back. It might be terrible. Um, he might not be the same guy that we all fell in love with when he originally created um, Stussy in the first place, and maybe he's regretting selling it. But I think his time has been and gone. I think his time has been and gone, but I could be wrong. I really, really could be wrong.